Hello and welcome all of you once again. Today we are starting with the unit number six of compiler design. As before this already we have completed unit number one, two, three. And uh, after that uh, we are not starting with the unit number four or five but starting with the unit number six. Uh, reason behind that uh, according to the phases of compiler uh, as you, you know we have discussed the unit number one as the lexical analysis phase, unit number two as the syntax analysis phase and uh, unit number three uh, semantic analysis and the intermediate code generation we have discussed. <coughs> So maintaining that flow, I uh, would like to discuss about the next phase of compiler that is nothing but our fifth phase of compiler that is the code optimization. And then afterwards, uh, when you get the time, we'll discuss the unit number four and fifth. So today we'll discuss about the unit number six that is the code optimization, need of the code optimization, and some of the important techniques in the code optimization. As all of you are uh, very much aware, that uh, in case of uh, phases of compiler, these different phases already we have discussed. In that we have discussed the lexical analysis, syntax analysis, semantic analysis, intermediate code generation. And today we are discussing about the uh, machine independent code optimization. As all of you know, the compilation is nothing but consists of the sequence of phases. Compilation process consists of the sequence of phases. And each phase takes the input from its previous phase and uh, uh, generate some output and give that uh, output as an input to the next phase of compiler. Accordingly, you can see uh, we have discussed first the lexical analysis which take the input in the form of some higher level language code and generate the tokens. Then uh, that token given as an input to the next phase of compiler that is a syntax analyzer which generate the parse tree. And then pass tree given as an input to the next phase that is the semantic analyzer whose role is to check whether the sentence is uh, meaningful or not by generating the annotated pass tree. And then that, uh, that annotated pass tree given as an input to the next phase of compiler that is the intermediate code generator. We generate the three address code as a one of the type of the intermediate code. And that is nothing but our fifth phase uh, which we are going to discuss now today. So if you see these phases comes under the front end of compiler. Okay. Uh, and uh, if you see uh, our uh, this part uh, comes under the back end of the compiler okay so today we are discussing the first phase in the back end of compiler that is nothing but our code optimization so uh, if, you, if you can easily see in the diagram also uh, the code optimization phase as this is the part you can see so on which code we generally perform the code optimization so we generally perform the code optimization on the code that we receive from the its previous phase that is the intermediate code and this is the phase where we are discussing that is the machine independent code optimization and this is our next phase that is the rest of the compiler that is the code generation okay that uh, next time we are going to discuss so code of what exactly mean by the code optimization first that we will discuss and then we will discuss the its need and the third section we will discuss the different types of the code optimization. So in the system programming subject also we have discussed the what exactly the code optimization. So code optimization is nothing but the technique uh, where we do the some modification in the input that we receive. So what input we are receiving? Intermediate code. So we do the some modification in the input uh, intermediate code and some rearrangement in that intermediate code we make some movement in that intermediate code. And these all the things like uh, uh, doing such kind of transformation changes in the intermediate code. And such kind of modification we do in that intermediate code without, uh, without affecting on the final output of the program or without changing the meaning of the our intermediate code program or the source code. So code optimization is nothing but the doing such kind of modification within a intermediate code level program which is nothing but the another form of our source code without changing its meaning that is called as a code optimization technique so same thing i have mentioned here code optimization technique where compiler 
can carry out the several transformation transformation in the sense carry out the several changes on the program at a intermediate code means this code which you are receiving from the intermediate code generator without changing its meaning so doing the changes in the program without affecting its meaning that is called as a code optimization okay now that is the concept of the code optimization making the changes within a program or doing the rearrangement uh, of the code within a program without affecting the final output of the program that is called as a code optimization okay now next thing is what why this code as a machine in why this code is called as a machine independent a main reason being it is called as a machine independent because this code optimization we are performing before the code generation code generation is the last phase of compiler so we are doing this code optimization before the code generation and this code optimization don't have to think about anything related with the what is the instruction set of uh, that particular machine what are the register of that machine so this uh, in this code optimization the changes modification that we do that doesn't have to uh, uh, do anything with the what are the uh, uh, properties of the machine properties of the machine in the sense instruction set register so during this code optimization the compiler never consider about the uh, instruction set register of that machine understood that is the reason this is this code is uh, this uh, optimization is called as a machine independent optimization okay and uh, so that is the reason this is called as a machine independent code optimization now next thing you must understand what is the need of doing the code optimization i hope all of you understood what exactly is the code optimization okay now next thing is what what is the need of doing it now here i have mentioned the optimization is a program transformation program transformation in the doing the changes in the program code which try to improve the code by making it consume the less resources and deliver the high speed now there is a specific reason behind doing the code optimization now first main reason is nothing but how we can make the program to run faster okay that is the first uh, reason to make the program run faster we do the code optimization and second important thing second important thing is nothing but how we can make the changes in the program so that less space will be required for that program less memory will be required for that program so for these two reasons we do the code optimization and the same thing here it is being mentioned the code optimization is a transformation technique which try to improve the code by making it consume the less resource of computer less resources in the sense it should take the less time of cpu to execute and it should take the less memory and uh, execution should happen within a high speed okay so in this phase the compiler try to improve the intermediate code so that smaller and the faster running machine code machine code can be generated so in this phase that is the code optimization what we try to improve we try to improve the intermediate code that is the input the code optimizer phase received from its previous phase that is intermediate code okay so on which code we do the modification we uh, do the changes we do the modification changes on the intermediate code okay and we do do the changes in a such a way that our intermediate code should not give you the incorrect result it should give you the correct result its its meaning should not be get change its output should not be get change that everything should remain the same only the changes you can do in such a way that the your program will become faster and your program will consume the less space on the memory for this two reason only the code optimization we perform okay and same thing i have mentioned here in the second slide also the code optimization in the synthesis phase so synthesis phase in the sense it is another name for the back end of the compiler this front end of the compiler is called as analysis phase and uh, back end of the compiler is called as synthesis phase so same thing i have mentioned the code optimization in the synthesis phase is a program transformation technique means making the modification in the program technique which try to improve the intermediate code by making it consume the fewer resource fewer in the less resource this which resource cpu and the memory so that the faster running machine code will be reached so we do the modification we do the changes in the intermediate code who does who does it compiler does these all the things so that the final target code generated that will be executed in the uh, with the less memory and that will execute faster okay 
so optimization should increase the speed and perform performance of the program that is the only need of the doing the code optimization okay so same thing also i have mentioned here code optimization is technique of producing the code that can be faster or take the less space okay so after we generate the mach uh, machine independent code optimization then output that we are going to receive that will be also the intermediate code but what the the change the difference between these intermediate code and these intermediate code will be what this intermediate code this intermediate code will be the unoptimized but this intermediate code will be the optimized intermediate code because on this intermediate code we are going to do some modification changes and then we are going to get this new intermediate code which will be the optimized intermediate code okay so code optimization uh, so reason behind why we are calling it as a machine independent that reason also i have mentioned the code optimization that will be take place before the final code generation that will not take into the consideration any machine properties like instruction set register etc that is the reason it is called as a machine independent code optimization and the code optimization which will be happen after the code generation that will be called as a machine dependent code optimization because the code optimization which will happen after the code generation that has to take into the consideration machine properties like instruction set register etc etc okay now so uh, i hope you understood the why we calling it as a uh, machine independent code optimization okay now uh, let's see the uh, some of the advantage of uh, doing the code optimization so uh, there are the three main advantages are there so how we can do the code optimization what is ex exactly with the help of which different ways you can do the code optimization so there are the two the uh, main activities using which we can do the code optimization one activity is what eliminating the unwanted code lines means within your program there might be a some unwanted code there might be a some uh, redundant code might be present redundant code in the sense some repetitive code which is not needed so removing such kind of code within your program that is the one activity using which the code optimization can be done and second activity is what rearrangementing the statement of the code rearrangementing the statement of the code in the sense moving some part of the code outside the loop or inside the loop changing the uh, location of the particular fragment from one location to the another so that uh, processing speed of that program can be improved understood so with the help of these two activities uh, the code optimization can be done so these uh, these activities being divided into the different uh, code optimization technique that we are going to see uh, in the next part of this uh, 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 particular topic okay so what are the advantages of doing the code optimization so one main advantage is what optimized code has a faster execution speed okay that is the one advantage second the less memory will be required and because of these two advantage the performance of your code will be get improved performance of the compiler will also get improved and your compiler will be considered as a more efficient understood so these are the things that is what exactly is the code optimization need of the code optimization and uh, advantages of doing the code optimization understood so what is the code optimization it is nothing but the modifying the existing intermediate code changing the existing intermediate code in such a way that final meaning of the program should not be get changed and why we are modifying and doing the changes so that your program will get executed fastly and with the less memory okay so in the next slide we will discuss about the uh, what exactly is the uh, different transformation techniques are there okay so in this the next part we will see the different transformation techniques and uh, how we can achieve the code optimization that also we will discuss in this slide that already i told you with using the two different ways we can do the code optimization first way is nothing but the elimination of redundancy and second way we will do the code optimization okay so you can describe the code optimization in this way also code optimization is a technique where compiler can carry out the several transformation of a program at a intermediate level without changing its meaning means code optimization is a one particular technique where which is being performed by the compiler and what it does compiler do the different different or the several transformation or changes on your program which is intermediate code program and that changes being done without changing the final meaning of the program that is called as a code optimization okay so you can describe the code optimization in a different way like it is a technique where uh, the, the compiler make the rearrangement of the code 
without affecting the final meaning of the program or without affecting the final output of the program so that is the task of code optimization okay now here you can see here i have shown the code optimization now code optimization will generate the optimized code and that will be given as a input to the next phase of compiler so that will be the la our last phase that is the code generation okay that we will see in the next lecture now so you understand i hope you understood what exactly mean by the code optimization so code optimization or rearrangement of the code can be uh, done in the following ways or uh, there are the different ways of doing the code optimization okay we are going to see the techniques of code optimization also so here i have mentioned the code optimization is achieved in following ways now how the code optimization can be achieved and what are the techniques to achieve the code optimization that we'll see next but here just see which are the different ways of uh, achieving the code optimization one of the important way is what elimination of redundancy what elimination of redundancy or removing the redundancy from your code now redundancy means what i hope all of you know redundancy means the repetition of same same information within a program or repetition of same code within your program understood so that is called as a redundancy the code which is available in the program uh, which is uh, even if it is even if it would have not been available then also our program will work well that particular thing is called as a redundant redundant code or you can simply consider elimination of redundant code redundant code in the sense what some repeated code which is not required in the program okay so here i have mentioned redundancy means repetition of same meaningful words words in the sense code in your program or in the in the particular program instruction so that is considered as a uh, one of the way that is the elimination of redundancy removing the uh, unwanted code from your program or redundant code or repeated code from your program second important way is computation in a program are rearranged or rewritten to make it run faster means we can rearrange the code or we can make some modification in the code in such a way that that program will run faster without affecting the final output of the program so in this different way two important ways uh, the code optimization can achieve one is nothing but what now we are going to apply the code optimization on the intermediate code so in the intermediate code you have to see is there any redundancy in your intermediate code is there something code is present in your uh, intermediate code uh, which is considered as a repeated code or redundant code understood also in the intermediate code you have to see can you do some changes in that intermediate code so that your program can run faster understood so this thing has to be observed in your intermediate code and then uh, the code optimization has to be performed okay now every in the each phase we have discussed this uh, example okay now for this example we have received the uh, uh, we have received the output from the fourth phase of compiler that in the fourth phase is our intermediate code generation and from the intermediate code generation we have received this output we have received this output for this expression okay from which phase fourth phase of compiler now this is your intermediate code for this expression now how the code optimization can be performed on this particular fragment of code so this is here i have written this is the unoptimized intermediate code means which can be optimized means something which is pro present in this fragment of code which can be get changed without affecting the final output of the program or some redundant code might be present in this program okay let's see now uh, you can see and for this unoptimized intermediate code this is the optimized intermediate code okay for this unoptimized intermediate code this is the optimized intermediate code okay now why we are calling this an optimized intermediate code and why we are calling this as a optimized intermediate code let's see now in this program if you see this first uh, intermediate code instruction okay that is t1 equal to into float 50 okay means this instruction is doing what converting the 50 into the 50.0 but this conversion of 50 of 50.0 already done in the third phase of compiler okay this conversion of 50 into the 50.0 already done in the third phase of compiler that is our semantic analyzer okay if you see that lecture you can see there the conversion of 50 of 50 conversion of 50 into the 50.0 is done is already being done in the third phase of compiler that is the semantic analyzer so still the 
in the intermediate code also we are writing the instruction to do that so there is a no need of this instruction in the intermediate code understood and that is the reason this instruction or this code is considered as a redundant code which code this first instruction code understood so this can be eliminated understood the same thing i have mentioned here in an optimized intermediate code there is a no need to write the expression p1 equal to into float 50 sorry p1 in t1 equal to into float 50 because 50 as a integer is already converted into the float during the semantic analysis phase of compiler okay so that repeated operation get avoided or remove in code optimization and we can get the improvement in the previous code so that from this all discussion we remove this intermediate code instruction okay and directly we will write t1 equal to id3 into 50.0 now what is the id3 id3 is nothing but your b id3 is nothing but what your b and that is the reason here you get the this first uh, optimized ic as a t1 equal to id3 into 50.0 because this 50 of conversion of 50 into the 50.0 already done that is the reason we write here t1 equal to id3 into 50.0 the same instruction you can also write in this way t1 equal to b into 50.0 that is also correct no problem okay now then what is the next now because of these things we have done because of this instruction we have written already we have got the intermediate code for this whole things understood so now we also avoid to write this two instruction also how let's see so we can from this we can directly write id1 equal to id2 plus t1 what id1 equal to id2 plus t1 you can write this instruction directly like this also like x is equal to a plus t1 also meaning is same means for this three instruction for this three instruction okay for this uh, sorry this uh, let me tell you for this two instruction you write only one instruction here that is correct t1 equal to id3 into 50 so meaning of these two instruction is like this one thing understood and for this two instruction we can write only the single instruction id1 equal to id2 plus t1 and its meaning is same like this two instruction one understood so we have converted these four intermediate code instruction into the two instruction only means what is get save here definitely the space get save and if the space gets only the now processing of the this two instruction has to be done instead of four instruction so time require for time requirement for the processing and the execution will also be get save so space efficiency improve time efficiency improve and that is nothing but the concept as a concept of code optimization that is what making the changes within a original code by making some changes or by eliminating the redundancy from the code or by by doing the rearrangement in the code whatever code we get that code is called as a optimized intermediate code understood if you see the meaning of this particular fragment of code and meaning of this fragment of code is exactly same only this three address code we have converted into some another form but this bus three address code is better as compared with this in the form of space efficiency and in the form of the time efficiency the meaning of both of is same understood so that is the concept of code optimization making the changes within a program without affecting the final meaning of the program that is called as a code optimization okay that is called as what the code optimization okay now there are the different ways of doing the code optimization on which the question usually asks there are the different code optimization techniques are available so our next point is nothing but the discussion regarding the different phases of the code optimization or sorry different techniques of the code optimization okay so here i have mentioned a compiler can carry out the several transformation of a program several transformation in the sense compiler can do the dev, uh, several changes in the program at intermediate code level means the compiler can perform the changes in the intermediate code without changing its meaning okay without changing its meaning 
I will not to do that. These are the different techniques are available. Okay, you know to do that. These are the different techniques are available. Okay, and in detail we will discuss about this technique with example. Like we have the uh, uh, first technique, compile time evaluation, which again consists of the two technique, constant folding and the constant propagation. Then we have the dead code elimination, code movement, strength reduction, and the common sub expression elimination. These are the important techniques in case of the code optimization. Okay, so let's see the techniques in that first technique. compile time evaluation now what is the meaning of compile time evaluation or the its meaning is straight forward that whatever the computation or evaluation uh, ca that can be done at the compile time only that has to be done at the compile time only and that is being done by the compiler itself without uh, uh, doing that evaluation at the run time if there is a some code present in your program which code can be computed at the compilation time only doing that particular compute computation that is called as a compile time evaluation without without putting the extra burden during the run time okay so in that first technique we have the constant folding okay what is the that is the constant folding now instead of discussing this theory part we will directly discuss the example then we will come to that theory part for example in your program you have written this instruction that instruction is what circumference of circle equal to 22 by 7 into the diameter okay now in this instruction can we do the compile time evaluation is it possible to do the compile time evaluation of this instruction now this instruction will be get execute when when we'll run that but during the compile time only also is it is it uh, is it uh, possible to do the evaluation yes you can do the evaluation of this particular Uh, code like you can do the evaluation of this particular thing 22 by 7 there is a no need to do the processing of this 22 by 7 at the run time it is possible to do the computation of this during the compile time only understood so that is called as a constant folding understood so this is the constant term 22 by 7 understood its result will be 3.14 so doing the computation of this kind of things at the compute at the compile time only that is called as a constant folding and that is also being referred as a compile time evaluation here same thing i have mentioned as the name suggests it involves folding the constant means evaluating the constant during the compile time only the expression that contain the operands having the constant value at the compile time are evaluated means if in your expression there are the certain operand having the constant values then that get evaluated at the compile time okay those expression are then replaced with their respective results understood and now whatever the result of this evaluation that is the third result will be the 3.14 so instead of 22 by 7 here 3.14 will be get replaced what 3.14 so no need to do the computation at the run time for this because this computation is already being happening at the compile time and that is the reason it is called as a constant folding and that is being referred as a compile time evaluation so this technique evaluate the expression 22 by 7 at compile time this expression then replace with its result that is the 3.14 now what it save this save the time at the running run time okay what it save this save the time at the run time because in the run time it might happen this 22 by 7 maybe you need to you compute it 10 times understood it depends on your program in your program it you may need it to compute it 10 times but once it is being computed at the compile time and replace it with the 3.14 there is a no need to compute this 22 by 7 10 times during the run time and if it is no re not required then definitely the run time will be get save your program will be get executed faster and that is this is nothing but the code as what one of the technique of code optimization you are making your code to run more faster as compared with your previous code without affecting the final meaning of the program and this is the first technique in that that is under the category of compile time evaluation and that is called as what the constant folding okay i hope all of you are understood this then under the compile time evaluation we have the second technique that is the constant propagation what constant propagation okay now let's see the example then we go to the theory now what is the constant propagation c consider this is the fragment of code in your program you have written the one variable equal to that is a pi equal to 3.14 you have one variable you have declared with the radius equal to 
and below somewhere you have written the formula area of circle equal to pi into radius into radius now is it possible to do the evaluation of this particular terms at the compile time only is it possible yes because you know the value of pi you know the value of radius so you can it is it is directly possible to evaluate this uh, evaluate these terms as a result 314 understood now if it is being get evaluated at the compile time only then during the run time there is a no need to evaluate this again and again understood so same thing i have mentioned here and this is called as a constant propagation means you are propagating this constant you are using this constant in this formula here only and you are doing the evaluation during the compile time only. so same thing i have mentioned if some variable has been assigned a constant value then it replace that variable with its constant value in the further program during the compilation so the condition now if there is a some variable yes there is a variable yes there is a pi variable variable radius having the constant value so you can replace this variable in this formula with this constant values now one one uh, important condition is there for the constant propagation now value of the pi will never going to be change but this variable you have mentioned radius equal to 10 now suppose this is being evaluated here as a 314 but somewhere in the program if the radius again you declare the radius with the another value that will be suppose 15 then at that time this propagation of 10 will not happen in the next formula if this formula is also written somewhere in next part of the program so that time this 10 will not be utilized but 15 will be utilized understood if this that is the reason i here i have mentioned the condition for the constant propagation condition is what the condition is that the value of variable must not get change must not get alter in between in between in the sense suppose you have written this formula of area of circle at the now here you have declared the pi 3.14 here we have declared the radius equal to 10 and here you have declared here you have written the formula area of circle equal to pi uh, uh, into r into r okay now here you are this uh, 3.14 and this uh, value of uh, uh, radius will be get utilized understood but now see in the next part of program again uh, you declare the radius as a 11 and in now this is this is your formula present at the line number 10 for example and again you have written the formula at the line number 15 to calculate the area of circle understood now here constant propagation will not happen here related with the radius now because here after declaring this as a uh, 10 again you have declared it as a 11 so 11 will be get utilized not the not the 10 here understood so when the constant propagation can get success only when the value of variable should not get changed throughout the program means value of the radius should not get changed throughout the program that time only you can replace this variable with this radius and that time the constant propagation will consider as a successful this was that is the same thing i have mentioned so if this thing is being satisfied then constant propagation as a part of the compile time evaluation can be performed so constant propagation is nothing but what if there is some variable has been assigned some constant value then replacing that variable with its constant value in the further program during the compilation that is called as a constant propagation so this technique substitute the value of variable pi and the radius at the compile time only instead of run time and it then evaluate the expression like this 3.14 as a into 10 into 10 and the expression is then replaced with the result 314 so this expression will be replaced with the uh, value 314 so this is this is also saving the time at the run time so if this computation is done if the condition is satisfied then this computation can be done at the compile time only and if this is being done at the compile time no need to put the extra effort no need to do the processing of these things when during the run time understood so this is also making our program faster because of the constant propagation and that is called as a compile time evaluation so compile time evaluation is the most important technique we usually compiler uh, does this kind of code optimization on our program understood so that is the first technique of code optimization that is a compile time evaluation we are we make the changes in the program or we make the evaluation uh, of the program that is the intermediate code and uh, without doing that at the run time if it is possible now when it, if it, when it can be possible 
it can be possible if the const constant folding can be done and it can be possible if the constant propagation can be done okay now let's see the next important technique in the code optimization that is the common sub expression elimination okay now first in order to understand what exactly mean by the common sub expression elimination okay now let's understand what do you mean by the common sub expression first the expression that has been already computed before and appears again in the code for computation that is called as a common sub expression so that is also considered as the redundant code also or redundant expression also what the expression that has already been computed before and appear again in the next part of the code and appear again in the code for computation that is called as a called as a common sub expression or that is called as a redundant expression now let's see the that in this example now here you are written s1 equal to 4 into i s2 equal to consider this is your part, part of your program s2 equal to a of s1 s3 equal to 4 into j s4 equal to 4 into i now this is the common sub expression or this is the common sub expression or redundant expression because see the definition the expression that has already been computed before s4 equal to 4 into i already computed here and appear again in the code for computation now this is appear again in the code for computation that is the reason this is called as a common sub expression or the redundant expression so elimination of such kind of expression from your intermediate code that is called as a code optimization technique as a common sub expression elimination and this is the most popular and the fam famous uh, code optimization technique applied by the code optimizer in the compiler okay so as the name suggests it involves the elimination elimination of the common sub expressions like here i have shown you the redundant expression are eliminated to avoid their recomputation this is already being computed why there is a need why the computation need to be done again so doing the computation again is not making any sense only it is it will consume the space and the time understood so removing such kind of thing from your code that is called as a common sub expression elimination as a code optimization technique okay so the already computed result is used in the further program whenever required so whenever you require these things now here you can see here you are requiring the s4 okay now instead of using the s4 here you can utilize the s1 because the result of s4 and the s1 is same so this kind of changes when we do in this original code then we get the optimized code so this is your code before the optimization and this is the code after the optimization now what changes we have done let's see so this is we have written as it is okay then s2 equal to a of s1 s2 equal to a of s1 this is also as it is we can write then s3 equal to 4 into j that is also we can write as it is and s4 equal to s s4 equal to 4 into i now this is the written there is no need to read, uh, write it again so this is being eliminated here and directly we have written s5 equal to n and s6 equal to b of s1 plus s s b of sorry s6 equal to b of s1 plus s5 now instead of s4 because we have eliminated this you cannot write s4 again here so instead of that you write s1 understood instead of that compiler will do what instead of compiler will uh, instead of writing this s4 s1 equal to 4 into i to, and s4 equal to, uh, s1 equal to 4 into i and s4 equal to 4 into i two times compiler will simply write it once okay and here instead of using the s4 compiler will replace it with the s1 so your meaning of the program will remain same the output will remain same only you are doing some kind of rearrangement within a code without affecting the final meaning of the code but this rearrangement reducing your program so here are how many instruction 1 2 3 4 5 6 here are only the five here are the six instruction here are the five so space gets save time gets save and this is nothing but the consider as one of the major improvement within a code as a part of the code optimization okay i hope all of you have got this now next code optimization technique is called as a code movement now what exactly this now we'll go to the theory after discussing the uh, example first now this is the code before the optimization and this is the code after the optimization what is the code you have written let's see for where for loop you have taken int j of 0 j is less than n j plus plus and within a loop what you have written x equal to y plus z a of j equal to 6 into j now how many times this code will run for example consider to me uh, nq value declare ke liye 
consider you have declared the n equal to 10 somewhere so this loop will run 10 times understood but you can see is there any operation happening on this x equal to y into z is the value of y into z is getting changed here within this loop no even this code will run 10 times value of this x will will be the remain same that is the y plus z but this will going to be processed 10 times yes or no but is there any uh, sense processing this 10 times if there is a no change happening in the value of uh, this uh, x equal to y plus z no here there is a no need to execute this 10 times or there is a no need to process this instruction 10 times so can you write it in the another way still the meaning of this for loop will remain same let's see yes if you write it like this x is equal to y plus z and remaining part as it is still the meaning of these two fragment of code is same only here in case of this this will be going to be processed 10 times here it will not be going to be processed 10 times only one time and still it is having the same meaning understood so that is called as a code movement code optimization so you are doing the code optimization as a code movement because it, it can be done if if you move this x is equal to y plus z before this loop then it is not going to affect on the final output of the code understood why it is not going to affect because here you are not here you are not changing the any value of uh, y z or x it is remaining same understood so if you move this out of the loop then your processing time will be get reduced and if your processing time will get reduced that is considered as a efficiency improvement in the form of time understood so moving the code out of a uh, loop that is considered as a code movement technique without affecting the final output okay so same thing i have mentioned as the name suggests it involves the movement of the code the code present inside the loop is move out of it the code present inside the loop is move out if it does not matter whether it is present inside or the outside so it doesn't matter here x is equal to y plus z whether it is a present inside or present outside it doesn't matter but if it is present inside then it is a wastage of time so why should not why why should not we should write it outside loop so compile do it and write it outside loop or such kind of changes can be happen from the programmer itself also. okay so such a code unnecessarily get execute again and again so if you put this within a loop this code will get execute again and again with each iteration of the loop so this lead to the wastage of time at a run time and that is the reason movement of this can be done outside the loop this code optimization technique is referred as a code movement understood so that is the also one important technique that is considered as a code optimization under the uh, using the code movement so sometimes it can be happen from the programmer itself so compiler will do the optimization of this kind of code in this way okay by doing the movement of code fourth important technique is the dead code elimination this is also the important uh, optimization now optimization has to be done from the compiler because of some of the mistake that might be happen from the programmer in the rearrangement of the code okay so let's see the example first and then we'll see the theory so this is the code before the optimization what is the code i equal to 0 if i equal to 1 uh, here assignment of i to the 0 uh, to the i then here if i equal to 1 then do this operation what operation a equal, a equal to x plus 5 okay now you can see this 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, five lines of code is reduced to the one line of code one why because in this code this is the this code is considered as a dead code what this code is considered as a dead code why because what is the condition return if i equal if i equal to 1 now i is never going to be equal to 1 because here is i is initialized to 0 understood so this part we are no, never going to be execute understood but it is it is it is consuming the space within a program yes or no it is consuming the space within a program so can it be eliminated yes without affecting the final out of the program yes it can be eliminated and that is the reason this code is considered as a dead code and that is being after getting elimination we get the code optimization like this only the i equal to 0 because because of this condition this whole part is not going to execute if it is not going to execute then it is considered as a dead code 
understood so same thing i have mentioned as the name suggests it involves eliminating the dead code the statement of the code which either never executes or unreachable or their output is never used are eliminated so which code we can code the dead code the code which is never going to be executed or the the code which is unreachable that code is considered as a dead code and when the compiler apply the dead code elimination then that is considered as a one of the core optimization technique so this is the fourth technique that is the dead code elimination and let's see the last one that is the strength reduction technique okay now as the name suggests it involves the reducing the strength of expression now first you need to understand what do you mean by the strength of expression now strength of expression depends on strength of the operator which is used in that expression means what plus operator is having the less strength as compared with the multiplication okay and subtraction is having the less strength as compared with the as compared with the division understood less strength more strength means what if in your program more strength operators are utilized then more processing time can be required if in your program less strength operator is being utilized then you require the then require the time required to process that code will be the less understood so if in the certain expression high strength operator are present it if it is possible to reduce, uh, replace it with the low strength operator then that is considered as a code optimization using the technique as a strength reduction so let's see this technique replace the expensive and costly operators now which are the expensive and the costly operators as compared with the plus and minus so as compared with the plus and minus star and division operators are the expensive and the costly operators so replacing the expensive and the costly operators with the less expensive and the less cost operator that is called as a strength reduction here i have written this is the technique which replaces the expensive and the costly operator with simple and the cheaper one means replacing the plus with the star uh, sorry replacing the uh, yes replacing the uh, replacing the plus operator on the place of star operator and replacing the subtractor operator at the place of the division operator let's see in the example so this is the consider code you have written in your program that is b equal to a into 2 so can we write it in the different way with the less strength operator yes it can be written like this b equal to a plus a so meaning of this and the meaning of this is the still the same only what you have done you have replaced the expensive and the costly operators with the less expensive and the less cost operator but the meaning is same so this is called as a strength reduction that is what replacing the expensive and the costly operator with less expensive and the less costly operator that is called as the code optimization without affecting the final meaning of the program so in this what you have done the expression a into 2 is replaced with the expression a plus a so this is because the cost of multiplication operator is higher than cost of addition operators and that is called as a strength reduction this can be done only if it is possible and it can be done by the compiler and this all the technique is considered as a code optimization technique so these techniques all the techniques with the example we have seen i hope all of you understood if you have any doubt you can comment uh, in the comment section i will definitely answer all your doubts thank you all of you